Hey there. Today, we will explore how dollars are made. Laborers meticulously inspect the tough, raw blend of cotton and linen fibers that gives the currency its distinctive feel and durability. High pressure jets churn the fibers into a swirling, watery slurry, breaking them down to form the liquid base of the paper. Microscopic red and blue synthetic fibers are scattered into the mix, becoming a permanent, random fingerprint buried within the paper itself. Massive rollers squeeze the excess water from the mat, transforming the sludge into a continuous, cohesive web of gray currency paper. The dried, off-white substrate is wound onto massive, eight-foot-wide jumbo rolls, ready for the next stage of security integration. The wire mesh of the rotating cylinder mold carries the raised profile of Benjamin Franklin, waiting to press his image into the wet pulp. As the paper lifts from the mold, a faint, ghostly watermark is already visible where the fiber density has been carefully manipulated. Powerful vacuums suck the remaining moisture through the sheet, sharpening the definition of the watermark before the paper fully hardens. The schematic shows we are running at optimal speed. Right? But the moisture profile is uneven. Look at the steam here. Under strong backlighting, the varying thickness of the paper fibers reveals a highly detailed multi-tone portrait created without a single drop of ink. Thousands of distinct watermarks race by as the paper dries, locking the hidden security features into the very structure of the sheet. Precision rollers maintain exact tension on the shimmering 3D security ribbon as it speeds toward the wet end of the machine. In a marvel of engineering, the blue ribbon is physically woven in and out of the wet fibers, burying it safely within the paper structure. As the paper dries, distinct windows appear where the ribbon surfaces, creating a complex barrier against counterfeiting. Micro lenses within the exposed ribbon create a stunning holographic effect where bells and numbers appear to dance when the paper is tilted. The fully security enhanced paper, now carrying both watermarks and 3D ribbons, is wound onto a massive roll to await the printing press. Thick, viscous green ink is churned in the fountain, preparing to create the iconic greenback design on the reverse of the bills. The massive Super Orlov press roars to life, devouring blank sheets at lightning speed to begin the high-pressure printing process. Freshly printed sheets fly from the press, their backs now coated in the wet, intricate scrollwork of the historic design. Technicians install the master plates for the face of the bill, preparing to stamp the dark, intense portrait of Benjamin Franklin. The immense pressure of the intaglio process raises the ink from the paper, creating the unique ridges that your fingers can feel. 
The sheets move to a modern rotary screen press designed specifically to apply the advanced color shifting security inks. A specialized nozzle deposits a thick layer of copper colored ink into the inkwell design, masking the Liberty Bell beneath it. Quality control experts examine the heavy metallic deposit on the numeral 100 to ensure it sits proudly on the paper's surface. A simple tilt of the sheet reveals the magic as the ink dramatically shifts from copper to green to verify authenticity. With all security inks applied and cured, the fully printed sheets are automatically stacked and prepared for the most rigorous inspection yet. Vacuum feeders snatch sheets from the stack at blinding speeds, accelerating them into the dark tunnel of the inspection system. Advanced algorithms scan the passing currency in real time, matching every pixel against a perfect digital master file. Any sheet with even a microscopic flaw is instantly detected and physically blasted out of the production line by a diverter gate. Only the flawless sheets survive the gauntlet, flowing smoothly onto the output conveyor to be shingled and collected. Robotic arms transfer the verified stacks of 10,000 sheets onto carts, moving them toward the final guillotine phase. Vibrating air tables shake the stacks violently, using gravity to align every single sheet perfectly before the blade falls. A massive steel blade descends with hydraulic force, slicing cleanly through the thick stack of paper like a hot knife through butter. The long strips are fed into a second cutter, where a rhythmic blade chops them into individual spendable bills. Loose bills are whipped through a vacuum vortex, instantly organizing the chaotic stream into neat, count-perfect stacks of 100. Conveyors transport the freshly strapped bundles, now officially labeled and ready for distribution by the Federal Reserve. Ten straps are combined and sealed in heavy-duty plastic, creating a solid tamper-proof brick worth $100,000. Workers secure millions of dollars onto a single shipping pallet, wrapping the massive load for its final journey to the vault. 